guys welcome back to yet another video if you are new here welcome subscribe like this video if you enjoy it if you are a returning subscriber any yani since day one you have been with me through thick and thin thank you sana thank you you guys mean so much to me i have a breakout here I don't know what's happening anyway that bus that beside so guys as you as you know maybe you don't know I've been looking for a house yeah I was upgrading from a single room to a bed sitter so I've been looking for a house from house to house until I settled on one and it's so cute so come with me on this tour of an empty bed sitter tour i hope you enjoy it Hiya, bye welcome so this was the first uh house i went to see it's located in uh, zimbabwe in kilifi coast kenya here <laughs> in case you're international watcher so this house is so cute so so cute everything is a tick i loved everything it has a fence a gate most houses in kilifi don't have that if you have been to kilifi and you know houses here has in a fence has in a gate but this one has so when you enter it has like a corridor where you can place your stuff that's my that's a neighbor's house <laughs> Yeah, so it has a, a corridor where you can put your things outside there. A very cute corridor. And you see the type of windows that are there. Most windows in Kilifi are not like that. Nimaneti too. Hey, most windows are not like that. So when you enter, so cute. This is the living room. The living room is so, so cute. The tiles are neutral. The window has that thing for hanging curtains. I don't know what it's called, but it's so cute that hanger, that hanger for curtains. Look at that window, so so beautiful. I loved everything about this house. Yeah, as I was saying, the tiles are neutral color. You know, some houses have very funny looking tiles, but the tiles here are so, so beautiful. The house is spacious enough. It can fit a, a bed and uh, and coaches. Yeah, the kitchen is cute also from that view. It has like a wardrobe and then the door to the, to the toilet. Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. So come with me to the toilet. Let's see, cause that's a major thing when you're looking for a house. You look at the toilet. How is the toilet? Is it spacious enough? Is it beautiful? And I loved, loved the toilet. Is the toilet? You see, there's a soap places place for <coughs> putting soap. There is a shower there. <coughs> you have your mirror there. The mirror was dirty, you can't see me inside there. Then you have that bulb for the mirror so that you can see yourself well. There's that, there's a sink down there. Yeah, so the bathroom would give it a 9 out of 10. It's, of, it's, it's good according to me. The mirror is good. Yeah, there's the toilet seat. The house is still new, that's why it, it looks this clean and and beautiful that's the window the toilet window you have a tissue holder there towel holder yeah so that's the toilet then behind the door you are given a polite notice clean the bathroom walls and sinks with half pig yeah and a scrubber regularly maybe most people don't do that i don't know what came to the landlord's mind to put this notice there because most of houses don't have that anti a polite notice anyway we move we move yeah so that's the toilet and it's cute so from there next you are going to see the wardrobe 
the wardrobe is small it's a small one-sided wardrobe there it is so you uh, pay maybe four out of ten it's so tiny one draw but it's good than none most bed sitters in Kilifi don't have next we go to see the kitchen the kitchen was amazing guys the kitchen was good it was giving it was really giving i loved it so we get the kitchen you see there are those hangers that are already inserted there i don't know if it's the landlord who put there or it's the previous tenant who was there but those hangers they're called stickers or hangers they can come in so so handy yeah next we have the window the kitchen window which i think it's cute we have the storage wardrobes no what are they called cabinets yeah kitchen cabinets they're also spacious enough they can fit so much shopping can fit all your utensils this kitchen was really good it was spacious enough the landlord was thoughtful when making it yeah then you have that hanger there again that that's the countertop the countertop is beautiful so you have your drawers this has has storage storage kwa wingi kwa wingi kwa wingi eh uyo mtu akitengeneza kwa mstinji I'll gonna put in mind the rich people who have so many things to put there because personally me I don't even have things that will fit in there. I me as, as a student I have very very few things they can't fit in there. Like the storage will remain empty. But for maybe for people with a family they'll have a lot to put there. Yeah, so that's the house that's next we go to another house. So this house is in another plot one thing about this house it was so big 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 it can fit in a double decker look look at all that space this house was so so big you guys so big it's a family house it's a family bed sitter so yeah that's the kitchen it has an open kitchen also the storage for this house was cute that's the window they also have a wooden handle for putting the curtains and like the other one which was golden golden but it's still good but this house store size very very big yeah that's the space i didn't like what was going on down there it looked i don't know how clean dirty yeah i don't know maybe it was supposed to be painted at the walls there you see have you seen those walls yeah something needed to be done yeah that's the kitchen space the storage space i mean so this house was going for eight thousand shillings the previous one that i've shown you was going for seven thousand five hundred shillings yeah so i didn't pick the both of them they were above my budget this is the toilet the toilet is also giving yeah that's the sink that's the seat oh the shower to this house was cute it was giving uh, rich vibes i loved the shower to this house yeah so that's this house look at how big it is and it can a fit double decker our total six basics our zazi na sofa na meza na tv any in yumba elifatu equal one bedroom yom to a cost two